So I went to HUC, and uh, I, it was a great experience for me. It opened up my head. First of all, I met these giants of, of the reform theology and wonderful people, and, and uh, of course, you know, I'm not good at picking up names now at 68, but, but uh, well, the Chazanim, Israel Alter, made the biggest impression on me. He was a, this man had taste and, and had discernment and knowledge, and you could see he was someone to look up to, and he was a god to me. And, he, and I, I, start, I was a street Chazan, you know, and he made me into a mensch of a Chazan, and he instilled in me a sense of taste and propriety. And, uh, and, the, and the fact that it's all about the text. That's it, it's the text. And, uh, and uh, you know, but I, was, but I was secretly in love with the reform movement and I didn't have, I didn't have the Batesim, I didn't have the balls to switch over. Because what you know, my mother, what, what my father said, my brother and my friends and blah, blah, blah. I couldn't, in my mind, I couldn't stand up to it, you know. And I, I could have been a, I can imagine myself in a big reform pulpit and with my personality I would have, I would have done chazanas and all kinds of, I want to do picket. I want to do, I love picket. I want to do Wizard or Freed. I want to do Helfman for God's sake. My whole life I never got to sing these great things. And, uh, and uh, I was, and I, and I just was delegated to, to a world of chazanas that was diminishing, 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 diminishing. As I was getting better and better and better, the profession was getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And it was like... Why was that? Uh, well, sociological, everybody knows the sociological reasons, I guess, you know. The, the Jews after World War II, they, they got more comfortable. And they didn't have any, they didn't, well, why do I need to go to shul and cry? You know, well, you know, go home and have uh, chalant or whatever. And, 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 and the less observant uh, Jews, you know, go, go play golf, whatever. What do I need this for? Um, and, uh, you know, and also then another reason, you know, the, the, the profession got watered down. In my mind, one of the big factors were the, were the Kosovitsky brothers. And I adored the Kasevitsky, but Moshe was my chazan. And uh, we were dues-paying members of Moshe Shul and David Shul, Orthodox conservative. Beth, Beth, Beth El Emanuel, dues-paying members. Uh, and, 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 but these guys, these guys were good chazanim, but, but their selling point was the high notes. They had these freaky high notes that no other chazan had ever had. To be of me, Nicholas Mayim Rabbi Madiri Mim and Nicholas Mayim Rabbi Madiri Mahayim Rabbi B flat C, B flat C, B flat C, C, D, 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 D. People in the middle of the shul, in the middle of the davening, they're going like this. What, what is it? What? The 20 tuni folks used to come out after a high note in Temple Bethel. In an Orthodox shul, we'd hear tinkling. They're banging it on the chairs, on, on, the, on the benches. And so the new generation of Chazanim became trapeze artists. It became gymnastics. It, it didn't, the, the art, the, where were the pinchicks? You know, you know, where were the Reutemans? You know, Genshoff was, was the obvious, he was, he, he was created by the Reutemans and the pinchicks. And then, and then, but then nobody cared, cared about it. They, they, they called him the Chazan's Chazan. He hated that man. When he heard, he started to curse and spit. What do you mean, the chazan's chazan? You know, but it's true. Because only only the, the people that really knew could understand what the hell he was doing, you know? But had, but had there been more Genshoffs, eventually the, the Yidden would have discerned. They would know that this is something special, that this is something special. And so all they wanted, so they heard high notes and they wanted high notes. So now we have, uh, we have a whole generation of people, I don't have to name names. They have some talent, they have talent, and, but, but it's all, they're all waiting for the next high note.